Alright. I really hope this is still set to my pet battle channel. Oh, it looks like it is. How convenient. Oh, shit. Snarly is a, a vendor pet? Maybe it was just a glitch. Any... Yeah, I think it was just a glitch. Like, there shouldn't have been any glitch or anything that... But, like, it's a glitch that isn't even, uh... Beatable. Okay. Okay, thanks. My mom's a lava. Hi, hello, Alexander Valsho. So, let me mute the game sound real quick so you can't hear the the Skype shit. Not Skype, the Discord channel. Oh wow, the arrow actually stuck out of it. That's pretty cool. When did they do that? Why are my animations frozen? That's weird. All right. Anyway, uh, today the tournament will be pets that were can be bought from vendors. So uh, that's a huge list. Luckily, it's actually something you can search in rematch, so sources, caught from vendor, and look at all these tier 1 pets in the vendor. I don't think Tricorn's really tier 1, I just favorited him so I could uh, test him out. Did I not add Crusher into any of my teams? Crusher's so good. But anyways, there's a lot of pets you can buy from vendors to play in this tournament. So if you want to participate, just make a US character on Malorn, level 1 orc or troll, and just run over here. Hi. Okay. Thanks. To ever miss... <laughs> uh, I have party invites turned off. No, I'll just turn it off. All right, now send the invite. There we go. Hi, my mom's a llama. Oh, I read those ones already. Okay, let's see. How many people were missing? One person. Tharg, Crazy the Noob, Linoka, Dragona. So it is uh, one, two, three, four, five. Double elimination. Mike slash ox. Maybe I should leave the desktop thing off. Ugh. 
Oh no. Oh right, if there's anyone in the stream who wants to join, just leave a message in the chat and we'll wait for you. Otherwise we're just gonna start going. The spring rabbit. Tuskras. Here for the tournament. Too bad you can't dismiss your pet. Nah. <laughs> He's just. Don't have the pets. That's too bad. What? My mom's a llama. Hi. I'll be here to cheer you on. Slash roll. Do I have private messages turned off too? Groups, queue for friends. All right, let's do this. Oh, you cheater. <laughs> Out of all of the pets, the only tier one. There's only the vengeful porcupine and the son of Seath. I... And the ore eaters, of course. I can't think of anything else. <sighs> Help. <laughs> he almost died. <laughs> Wonder why he's frozen like that. My subscription ran out, but I'm gonna try to watch. Huh. I wonder if you can even do pet battles if you're s with a starter account. Oh well, let's just start up. Nope, sadly I have a lot of max level pet battles. I have a lot of level max level pets. Pet battle duel. I should probably turn this off. <laughs> you don't have the Thundering Serpent hatchling? Oh shit. His Sunborn Valk is going to be very dangerous to my Thundering Serpent Hatchling. I'm not sure how it'll do against all my other pets though. Get the sleep, get the sleep, get the sleep. If I get the sleep, I win. No sleep. 
That was bullshit. Can that be blocked, dodged, or avoided? Oh, well. Okay, then. Uh, that means Cocoon Strike won't really work. I'll use Cocoon Strike here for the bubble to try to get off one of its things. Since I can't avoid Explosive Brew, I might as well just do this. Malorn, right? Yep, Malorn US. Don't go below 50%. Shit. Come on, get asleep, get asleep. I need a sleep right here. I'm not really sure what his plan is gonna be. Hmm. Oh my god. Head on the high end, you stupid ability. That's bullcrap. Alright, one more alpha strike should be enough to kill him. Die, Ruby Droplet. Wait, that's a Ruby Droplet? Why are you not using its, like, heal combo? Oh. No, that's a stout elemental. He changed me out. He totally bamboozled me. 289. Let's go, Thundering. Ho, ho, ho. This is why I brought you here, Thundering Serpent Hatchling. Alright. If I were me... I'd use Call Darkness right here, so Call Lightning to change it immediately after. Oh no! He's not gonna use Call Darkness on me? Oh, there we go. I knew he was gonna do it. Because I would do that. Alright, now some Tail Sleeps. Tail sweeps, tail sweeps. Oh shit, I don't want to lose the thundering hatchling. So... Let's go... I'm gonna sacrifice one of my moths. Alright, now my blue moth's gonna come out and wreck some face. Come on, get the sleep, get the sleep, get the sleep. If I get the sleep, I win this. If not, it hit on the high end. That's good, too, I guess. What's my speed? Seven. Thirty. Oh, shit, he's faster than me. I don't want to go below 50% health. That's bad. <laughs> shit. All right, Alpha Strike. Luckily, he broke that right away because, actually... Uh, Cocoon Strike lowers your speed while it's up, doesn't it? Or does it not? Oh, did I crit? I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is a bad matchup for me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, Moth Dust. Alpha Strike, get a crit. Bring him below 50% health. Alright, that doesn't matter anymore. But I have a Moth Dust. If I get his sleep, I win. Come on, sleep him, sleep him, sleep him. God damn it. Why is he faster than me? Ugh. That's not good. <laughs> I didn't get a single sleep. My team is so reliant on those sleeps. Uh, zero sleeps. If I had just gotten a single sleep, I could have won that. Are you guys in the starting area? Yeah, we're right in front of Razor Hill. Uh, I just muted my game sound, so I just commented over you. Block pet battle duels. Oh, I have that turned off. Cool. Pet battle duel. Okay. Are you guys in the starting area? We're right up front of the starting area. Doesn't matter. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Shit. This matchup. 
I don't want to go Vengeful Porky Pet versus Vengeful Porky Pet. Shit, and he has a Vengeance Fetish so he can clear my Cyclone. Which is really bad. <sighs> Alright, start it out already. We need this to go. <coughs> Alright, Vengeful Porky Pet is coming in right away. Alright, Powerball. I need to kill his stupid f fetish. Ugh, why would he have a counter to my clone dance? That's so unlucky. Die, Fred. Shoot. That's not good. Well, I'm going for another Powerball. It's not a good matchup against his Dragon Ball, Dragonhawk Hatchling. I should be going... Oh, I need to use Spirit Spikes. While Beast Racial is... Uh... I need to disable it. <laughs> I need to use Spirit Spikes in order to stop taking dot damage. And then I can get faster than him. With my Racial up. Let's go, Hamlet. One, two, three. Let's go, Hamlet. Take him all the way down. One, two, three. Oh, dang. <laughs> that was hella low. All right, sewer jelly. Um, squeeze. Why does Spirit Spikes do half damage to Aquatics? I had no idea. That's pretty neat to know. Hey, that's pretty neat. How neat is that? That's pretty neat. I'm gonna use Squeeze on him because I can actually go faster than him if I land this. God damn it, a triple hit. That sucks. Heal up. Go tentacle slap. Kill him. Beat the shit out of him. This is actually a good matchup against Fred. Alright, sewer pipe jelly. You have to carry this team for me because he completely countered my strategy. I wanted to use clone dance, but he just completely fucked that up. Yo, Hiru, wanna duel? If you join the pet battle tournament, sure. What? I ain't swapping. I'm just gonna take this half damage on all these dots with my useless racial that's not very good. Oh my god, he crit. Oh my god, I can't believe he fucking crit right there. That's bullshit. Alright, breath. Should be enough to kill it, even without a crit. Yeah, even on the low end it kills him unless he switches out, in which case he's just gonna take a lot of damage. A dot on my infinite hatchling, huh? And then temporal anomaly. What? What does rot matter? Wait, how is he? St Damn, he's fucking fast. I can't believe that didn't work. <laughs> I can't believe that wasn't enough. I thought for sure if you would speed him. Dang, I forgot how slow the infinite hatchling is. God damn it, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Kill him! Oh. Oh, dang. Why did you not take Seer? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, dang, I got outplayed. Yeah, it's because most people who use the fetish use cleanse. <laughs> uh. 
Ugh. Oh my god, I can't believe he didn't have Seer. Alright, which team should I use now? I can't use my Moth team anymore. I don't really want to use my Bleed team. I, he already used the team. He doesn't have Vengeful Porcupine anymore. So I could probably use my Undead team. I also kind of want to use... whatever, let's just go with it. Let's do it! I'm ready. Oh god damn, a clone team. A clone dance team. <laughs> No, I have rot. <laughs> I know I was thinking about going for Crusher too, and then I decided against him. All right, let's go for Flame Breath right off the bat. Oh no, I'm slower now. Not a big deal. I'm just gonna wild magic him so if he decides to switch out, he's going to take a lot of damage. Even if he doesn't. Yeah, unless I switch out into one of my undead attackers. Alright, now let's throw up a flame breath and then switch out since he'll probably be going for shell armor right now. But if I were him, I'd go for an acid touch first and predict the switch. In which case, I could probably cleanse it before I switch out. There's shell armor. Alright, let's go Sun of Seath. I actually probably won't be able to hit through shell armor. <gasps> he crit. That's not good for me. Oh shit, I have to survive for two turns. Because <laughs> I don't think Drain Blood actually hits through. <laughs> Don't. No. I can't believe he crit on a body slam. That was so lucky. Ugh. Bull crap. Damn it, I can't believe. I shouldn't have been able to die right there. Alright, what is he going to swap into next? He'll probably try to set up the clone dance. No, probably not. I should go into my cub of Zufin. Plague blood. How did you guess it was plague blood? Good guess. Now you're going to take all of this flame breath damage. Man, his crusher took like no damage from killing my son of Seath. When he got lucky as shit. <laughs> Alright, one more flame breath to kill him, maybe, unless he decides to stay in. What? Cleanse it under if only two pets out? Oh, shit. That's, that's not good. Hmm, should I stay in on this since he takes 50%? Obviously going to cleanse the cyclone? How about I go into Zufu instead? Z Zufu! And just do a crap ton of damage. And hopefully I don't die. <laughs> I'm gonna prowl and then moonfire. Spirit spikes would be sweet too, but I actually want to hit it. Oh shit, it hit and it crit. Damn. Oh my god, what's with this luck today? <laughs> ah. This was super unfortunate.
this dot's not gonna do anything against the stupid aquatic and his crit city that entire fucking thing was just <laughs> he won because of crits I had such a good counter to him wow so unlucky dang it I had such a good matchup against him but those two crits got me <sighs> oh, no, you just got lucky. Like, in the literal sense of the word, not being salty. <laughs> that crit on that body slam won it for you. How do you forget about the thing that won you the match? <laughs> The cyclone thing. Uh, I was already trying to come back from that, and then you got more lucky. I was like, okay, whatever. Game over. Get a crit on a body slam. What are the chances of that happening? 5%? Ugh. Ugh, whatever. Luck is a part of this game. Also, getting no sleeps on my moth match too was a huge pain in the ass. But that one was relying on luck, so that's fine. Getting crit on that body slam, though, that there was no coming back from that. That took out over half of my health. Okay, fix. Okie dokie. the problem with Kakyo Kakyo <laughs> I've come here to duel with the so-called hero Pet battle duel. You want a duel? I'll destroy you with my moth team. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god, this team. Alright, white moth. I believe in you. Get asleep. No sleep. Wait, you can use the Curious Wolvar Pup? No, Wolvar Pup is a quest reward. Oh. Well, I mean, I... Oh, neat. Alright. I think so. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. I can't believe that crit. That's bullshit. Alright, um, I kind of like Arcane Winds up because I can't be stunned under it. But at the same time, I want to change the weather so that Cyclone will do extra damage. Ah, oh, and he just changed it back. 
Alright, let's go for the tail sweep. Look at all that cyclone damage. Oh no! My blue moth. Alright, I'm just gonna cocoon strike to block an attack and then I should be able to moth dust him to death if I get a nice hit. Yep. Good job, blue moth. I knew you could do it. I believed in you. Hatchling of Chi Chi. We both have the exact same speed, so I'm gonna slip out into my pet with a faster speed. The white moth. Oh shit, son. Alright, let's go for moth dust to get that off cooldown. No sleep. You got a double hit being slower than me? Oh my god. <laughs> That's such bullshit. <laughs> Alright, get him below 50% health so I can outspeed him, except he went for another... He went for heals instead, which is bad for me. Why is this saying he has Alpha Strike? He doesn't have Alpha Strike. I'm dead. God damn it. Why did he get a double hit while being slower? Bullshit. All right, Alpha Strike. Get him below 50% health. Shoot. Get him below 50% health. And he got another double hit. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> he gets double hits even if he's slower. That's bullshit. We both had the same speed though. So, I'm not getting my double alpha strikes. Alright, Blue Moth, you're at least faster than Kier's Wolvar Pup if you get a sleep off of this Moth Dust and go first. Oh, well, he just dodged it. That works too, I guess. Alright, Cocoon Strike. Oh god, a Tranquility. Now he's faster, but that doesn't matter. And he keeps blocking my Moth Dust. Is he gonna block again? Nope. He went for damage with his double hits even though he's not faster. That's such bullshit. Ugh, this is why I quit Hearthstone. Because <laughs> pet battles make me realize just how bad RNG is. <laughs> I thought you were a better hero. You... You got lucky. All those double hits while being slower. Oh, plus, I mean, getting a crit on his surge of power <laughs> was also pretty lucky. I am being really unlucky today. I hate saying that because that's such a cop-out answer for when you lose. Ugh. Except when I'm using a really luck-based team. Team's Vendor Clone Dance. A crusher. Pathetic excuse for a bad pet battler. That's some bad RNG if I've ever seen one. You can't stun him with Moth Dust while Kane Starn up is up, by the way. Uh, Moth Dust is asleep. It should be immune. Let me check to make sure, though. Arcane Storm. During Arcane Storms, pets cannot be stunned or rooted. Yeah, it should still work. I've just been really unlucky with this team. But I mean, that's what happens when you use a luck-based team. Ugh, it's just the luck has been on my opponent's side for the two times I used it. Like, not only did I not get any sleeps, but they kept getting really lucky crits on hard-hitting moves. The luckiest you can be when you're pet battling is to get a crit on a t move with, like, a cooldown to it. Oh, just to watch. Gotcha. Here for the tournament. Yeah. Well, whatever. 
It's fun when a, an RNG team works in your favor, though. Have you guys done your match yet? Oh no, we were. I thought you guys were just going to do your match while we did ours. Oh. Crazy versus Dragona. I'm ready. Honorable medallion. Enter a battleground arena and learn the spell. Honorable, because <laughs> they hit duel. You could try out nursery spider or a blood bleed slash mall team. Nursery spider? What's that? A dollar in. Um, I guess that would be good for stalling out. And a bleed team. I have one made. I just didn't use it in that last match, but I do plan on using it this tournament. Hi. Hi. <coughs> So we got Stout Elemental, Blue Clockwork Gnome, Harmonious Porky Pet. I don't see a strategy for this. Little Terragosa, Court Scribe, Nether Rayfry. Did the mines go off when he removed it? Oh shit. Try out Sky Lantern Kappa. You could use Crusher. I know I. Oh shit. I had Crusher on a team, but then I removed him for some reason. I already have five pretty good teams set for this. I just used the Moth team because it's really gimmicky. Except I am not having good luck today. Which means I should keep using it because, you know. What if I get luck? Another Frost Ray, the Clockwork Gnome, the Stout Elemental. Stout Elemental is pretty good. It has a lot of attack power for an Elemental pet. Oh, the Nether Ray Fry is dead, so it only has little Terragosa left. A Court Scribe. Harmonious Porky Pet, Clockwork Gnome. Since it's exactly at 20% health, I'm going to assume his racial is active. Activated already. Stat Elemental's at 20%. Court Scribe's at 50. Stat Elemental's probably going to die. Arcane Blast is at max level now. Sun is Seath and two Trash Pets. Done. I use Sun of Seath, it's just when I used him in a match, my opponent had Crusher and he crit on his body slam, so there was no coming back from that. Especially since I was speed debuffed. Court Scribe. Oh, so you are able to cleanse it. The Blue Clockwork Gnome is faster? That's. that's funny. The Harmonious Porky Pet. Little Terragosa. Harmonious Porky Pet. Terragosa can destroy him. Oh, he went to sleep? <laughs> Just. Oh, yeah, he has the 50%. Oh, you don't have that super hard hitting nuke? That would have been good right there. Alarm robot, maybe he has a decoy. Yeah, I have Alarm robot in a team too. Way ahead of you. The first team I made was Alarm robot. 
Hero, why are you doing only pets bought from vendors? Why not some type of pet tournament? Uh, because they do different themes every week. It's a nice way to have a different meta so that everyone's not using the haunt imp dodge combo against each other. It forces a different meta if you can only have pets from a specific place. Plus, it allows it for other people to come in. <laughs> Smork. Did you get Faux Reaper and Tricorn? Yep. See, Tricorn. And I have Faux Reaper and my Bully team that I made for this tournament. They'll probably do a specific type soon. Uh, a specific type tournament, I don't think that'd be very good. Because then everyone would just use the pet which has, you know, a counter to their own type. Like, flying type pets that can use magic damage. Everybody would run arcane blast and like counter spell and stuff. Or... What is it? Magical pets? with dragon damage? I know there's another one. Strong. Yeah, here it is. Frankie, Hungering Claw, Stardust, the Storm Peaks sources, the Storm Peak a quest. Did you get Faux Reaper and Tricorn? Sure did. Here, do you have Celestial Calf? Isn't he the super expensive one? Oops. Oops, wrong button. The one that costs two million gold? No, I don't have it. It's not even good. He's the worst breed. His stats are mediocre, and his moveset is unique. I'll give him that, but it's not good enough unique. If you sit before choosing a pet, its first slot won't be summoned. Yeah, I... Yeah, I heard that today. I don't really care. <laughs> Oops. Court scribe. Tiny goldfish. Ooh, a crusher. Glowing spore bat. Harmonious porky pet. And a cursed bird man. Oh, that is a pretty good one. Court scribe just keeps cleansing everything. Whoa, Harmonious porky pet was able to live a tiny bit. <laughs> He's gonna die on his next turn unless he moves out. Oh, dang, that was big. And he was able to heal up enough to survive another turn. And the tiny goldfish is in. Oh, shit. <laughs> he had a pump set up already. That's pretty good. U.S. Malorn, I think he cost 500k. What server? It's U.S. Malorn. Wicked Soul is better. P.S. or S.S.? S.S. for sure. All breeds are viable. It's just you definitely want the S.S. if you can afford to get one of the specific breeds. I think he cost 500k. The mount is 2 mil. Oh, 500k is still too much for a shitty pet. Calf is 1 million. Oh, okay. Hey, that's pretty good. Cursed Birdman. He still has Crusher back here. Court Scribe. Tiny Goldfish. Glowing Swarbat's almost dead. Cursed Birdman's out. Oh, and he just got pumped. Tiny Goldfish is dead. So he only has Crusher left. But Crusher's really good. Oh, shit. He used Spirit Spikes. That's nice. Dang. That hurt him. Oh, there goes the shell shield. Oh, and he missed. 
He's dead. He gets his racial going, though. Is he going to be able to get off? A spectral strike? Yep. No, I think that was just a spirit slash or something glowing spore bat. Glowing spore bat is gonna die to Crusher. Oh dang, that was close. <laughs> You'll be using the fledgling wardling owl. Uh, I think it's called something else. Or maybe that is the one. Oh, I had him in a team and I think I, no, he's here. The fledgling wardling owl because he's a vendor reward from the wardens. Surge pets. Michigan, sup guys? Hi, love your vids. Thank you, thank you. Yu Gi Oh! Obliterate! Man, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go eat once this is over. Do you have all of the Falconosauruses? Yep, I have all of them plus all of the pets. Did you get the blood brood weapon? It's nice in this meta. Did you get the bloodborne weapon? Can someone explain to me how the tournament works? use pets bought from vendors oops I spelled bot wrong did you get the new blood brood weapon? it's nice in this meta blood brood weapon. oh there it is no, I haven't leveled up a Death Knight yet. I do plan on leveling a Death Knight in order to buy these pets. Like, specifically, I'm going to level up a Death Knight and do the DK campaign just so I can get the Death Knight pets. Uh, you got Wicked Soul, not that much on the AH. Can I be chosen in this human centipede? <laughs> the caboose. In the fledgling, did you get the new blood broom weapling? It's nice in this meta, yeah, it would be pretty good. I guess Hiru owes me another duel. Do you want a duel? Here, let me use one of my meta teams with a 100% win rate. Kovac and Nation. Pet battle duel. Did you get the new... Is the Ghost Shell Crab any good? I'm farming Dark Moon Dagger Mills right now and I'm considered buying him. Eh, he's mediocre. I wouldn't say he's good. Crusher versus Kovac. This isn't good. Oh, this is a much better matchup for me. Oh, thank God. A Crusher would have completely... Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, because Crusher does weak damage against Kovac. Oh shit, are we in their way? Kovac, you can't die yet. You need to use pheromones. And then use poison fang one more time to refresh it. While he gets all of these heals. Which only benefits me since he's not hitting me very hard. Let's go, elemental killer. Just don't kill me quickly and we will... Oh, shit, how is Son of Seath almost dead? Was he not healing up or something? Oh, did I get a crit? Tricorn has combat. Hero owns me another pet battle. No, elemental killer, you can't die yet. 
he has aquatic damage with Crusher. Maybe. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did he just go for a heal? This ability always goes first. Oh, okay. Well, that means I get some more dreadful breaths off. Yay, no stun. That's good for me. Oh no, all that damage. That's right. Let's kill that Crusher in the back line. That's the best bet for me. All right, Weeaboo, we got this. Cleave is good against both of his pets. <laughs> Crusher's dead. Haven is up. And Haven is as good as dead. Isn't that right, Weeaboo? I should probably use Consume Corpse on my next turn, because I'm going to go below 50% health. Uh, or I should just kill him, I guess. Oh, get fucked. Destroyed. Kovaki Nation. Let's add another one to that win record. I guess a final duel. You want a final duel? Do I have any other 100% win? <laughs> I brought out the big guns for it. Yep. Destroyed him. It's still good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the slippery ice, classic clone dance. Let's go, Gobbles. I'll use another one of my 100% win rate teams. Ghost Shell Crab's kind of overkill with spikes plus shield and bubble and RNG in first mood. Isn't Blossoming Ancient and... Are the best Elthric is okay. It's not too... Which shop pets are the best? Uh, I have a video on that. It's a really simple question. It's the we No. The Blossoming Ancient and Little Ragnaros. Those are the only two that are good. Here, a droplet is not from a vendor. What is the best of the four Pandaren spirits? The best of the four Pandaren spirits? I don't know. They're all kind of mediocre ever since they nerfed the water one. I'm farming dagger mods. I'm leveling my DK. Poor Haven. What? Why? I'm sad now. What? I know he's a fan since forever. Yeah, he died because of cancer. Oh, yeah, Haven. Congratulations. Do, 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 do. Oh, another crusher. Baron Geddon. Oh, Baron Geddon. That means I can use my combo without having to worry about anything. Alright, let's go into a ghost bite before I switch out. No conflagrate. Well, whatever. All right, Ares, we got this. Oh, a crit on Conflagrate. That hurts. All right, we're going to have a rain dance for the last three turns of Cyclone. Oh, triple hit on that Cyclone. Baron Geddon's as good as dead, especially once I use Steam Vent. All right, Ares, kill him. Finish this off. And that last Cyclone, both of his backline pets are kind of healthy because they both have a lot of health. Dirty clone dance user. <laughs> I just watched that video. What video? Alright, Ares. One more steam vent and we're as good as dead. Because anything he uses should kill me. Oh, that hurt. Alright, I'll go into my Emperor Crab. Hopefully he doesn't try to stun me. 
Yeah. I knew that would happen. It's one of the good things about monkeys. Is that stun is pretty good. I'm surprised he's not using banana barrage. Holy crap, I took so much damage just setting up my defenses. Oh, he has his beast racial. I didn't even notice that. That's not good. I took all those hits under his beast racial. No, Harambi. No, Harambi. Madokami, don't die. Ah, oh, damn, did he seriously kill me with a crush? That's not good. All right, infected claw. We have to do this. Don't crit me with body slam. You just use crush again, huh? Don't crit me with body slam. Oh, he's just going for crushes over and over. Maybe he has demolish or something. Is this going to be enough to kill him? Probably not, with 25% less damage. Well... I can't believe I lost that, to be honest. That was a pretty good matchup I had. Classic Clone Dance doesn't have Surge, though, for some reason. Let me change that. Classic Cone Dance. What is the best bleed team? Um, this guy probably with Snarly and Little Bear. Hibernate actually kind of sucks. Why would I ever use that other ability? Here we go. And we've got huge sharp teeth, dodge, and burrow. Zero ten bleed team. So close. Alright. Dread drag dread hatchling you mean? Yep, yes, he's quite good. I thought it sucked. Mine is LOL six. Dread hatchling's pretty good. Yeah, it's strongest darkness user because of only power power breed. It's not the strongest darkness user. He's the strongest flying type darkness user. Uh, cause the bone serpent. Its power speed breed hits about just as hard. I don't have the dread hatchling though. Oh no, it is the strongest. He has like five more attack power, I think. Oh no, Bone Serpent is stronger. He has one more attack power <laughs> than the Dread Hatchling. <laughs> yeah, Bone Serpent is ridiculously good. The Noble Garden Bunny? You can use that? Oh, that's bullcrap. Noble Garden Bunnies are so good. Because as long as you don't take, like, its uh, flavor abilities, he has all the same abilities and stats as a regular rabbit. Oh my god, he did 666 damage. That's some Illuminati confirmational shit. What are the rules for the tournament? The rules are you just have to have three teams of pets that have only been bought from a vendor. So these are all vendor pets. These are the only two moth vendor pets. I had to level them up to 25 just for this tournament. GG, one more attack. You can still get it, Hiru, for some reason. You can if you buy the edition, but I don't want to waste money on it, because, I mean, it's not really that good. If I was going to waste real money on a pet, I would do it on Merc a lot. Well, just like how I wasted real money on the murky pets for BlizzCon 2016. Uh, because they were overpowered when they came out. And then as soon as BlizzCon was over, <laughs> they, they nerfed them. And now they're just kind of mediocre. Merkelot, this is the pet I want. BlizzCon 2013. 
Damn, I wish I had bought BlizzCon 2013 tickets. <laughs> I want a Merc a lot. Mercudin, you're bullshit. BlizzCon 2005. Oh, my chest is hurting a little bit. Here, you should make a pet battle tournament with pets dropped from a quest. Are there even a lot of those? Sources from class. Oh, yeah, there's quite a bit. I need to get the red cricket. Mini wing withers. Fell pup. How come I don't have this? How come I don't have an alliance balloon? Oh. I need to go and finish my rogue order hall so I can get crackers. Red cricket, tiny flame fly. So I need to level up my death knight, my druid, and my monk in order to get the pets. Because none of the classes I already have at max level have any pets in their order halls. It's all the ones I don't play. I guess that's a way to get people to actually play those garbage classes. Oh, Enchanted Broom is legal in this tournament. I like how everybody had the idea of the clone dance. <laughs> With the infinite hatchling and the, the jellyfish pets. Ooh, Gazruki. Blue Clockwork Robot, Enchanted Broom. Oh, so he has a minefield swap-out team, a ghetto version of it. Not the classic clone dance, though. Are you the guy, Duologues? Yep. Duologues is the name of my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. I'm gonna mute my mic while they bark. All right, looks like they stopped barking. He makes Yu-Gi-Oh! He is dual logs. He is dual logs. No, the dual logs. Yes, technically it's the dual logs. Dual logs without the in front of it is someone else. I actually stole his name when I made my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. But he stopped making Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, so I don't think he cares. Oh, Lockwork Gnome is dead. Oh, no, he came back to life. And put out a minefield. Oh, shit. Court Scribe's gonna come in to soak that. How much you wanna bet? Aren't pet battles for children, so alliance equals pet battles? Pet battles for children? No. Pet battles are for manly men. Only manly men do pet battles. Okay, I lost my dignity. My dignity. So, how you find Yu-Gi-Oh decks with that combos? What? How do I find Yu-Gi-Oh decks with combos? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, Alliance is 12 year olds. What? Why would you not throw in the court scribe? Oh, it was probably at lower health, I guess. You stop, why? You stop. I haven't stopped anything. I still make Yu-Gi-Oh videos. Rogue is the only class I don't have 100 or 110, and Blizz gets two pets for rogues. There's two pets for rogues? What are those? Rogue. Rogue. Order. Crackers, um, Hall of Shadows. I only see Crackers. What's the other pet rogues can get? Only one. I have the Dunker Your Eye. This is, wow, not a card game. That is Hearthstone. <coughs> sneaky Marmot, probably. What about the Sneaky Marmot? Oh! 
Oh, the pets you can get for, uh, whatchamacallit, for sneaking around. Yeah, that is 100% why I leveled up my rogue <laughs> in the first place. He was already at like a level 105, uh, but I leveled him up all the way so I could go around and get the new uh, pickpocketing pets. But the thing is, you can buy these on the auction house, too. You don't have to actually level up a rogue in order to get them. It's just if you want to farm them yourself. Uh, the thing with the other order hall pets, like the... The DK pets, the monk pet, the druid pet, those ones you can only get through the order hall. You, you can't buy them off the auction house. The sewer pump jelly. In my guild, sneaky marmot, in my guild I have two little kids, 11 and 12, and they always fight, annoying but funny at the same time. Yes, I do play a line switch, thanks, I do funny. <laughs> of course. Of course you have kids in your guild, I mean, uh, you play alliance. How do you find this combo decks and they are your own ideas? Combo decks? They're... I feel like there's a fundamental misunderstanding with how Yu-Gi-Oh plays. There's not... There are so many Yu-Gi-Oh cards that there are so many combos that... A lot of them are just better than others, so people just don't use them. And since I play so much Yu-Gi-Oh, I just know them all by heart. So if I get an idea for a video, a gimmicky idea, I just think, oh, I know of other cards that work exactly like this. Wait, what did you say? Um... Do we have six people? Oh. Oh, it's still like normal then. Oh. Be careful. Lenoka's super lucky today. <laughs> Or just 20 plus. Do you have a video on order hall pets? No, because I don't have them yet. I met a lot of 13 slash 14 year old holders. Here at DURP, I see you have the TRP add on. The 11 year old got pissed at me when I said he was 12, saying rebear my character pissed me off as she called me 12. I'm 11, not 12, to my entire guild made us all laugh. That's funny. Why would you get mad for being one year younger? You those, you create Yu Gi Oh deck so I can handle this with the amount of cards. Can't handle this. Yeah, there's so many cards. Yu-Gi-Oh, it's ridiculous. The Horde has the Blood Elves, Undeads, and Orc. I'm 20 plus and play Horde. Most kids go for Horde because they're cool and badass. No, kids go for Alliance because they're kids. No, kids are humans. The most kids play a female human. I have three little bastard mains. Bolf, Bolf, and Balf. They're all dwarves. Everybody loves dwarves. Oh, that's nice. Hope I can watch some RP streams. The loser bracket. I have an idea for a team. A pet with an ability similar to booby trap presence. A pet with something like Nethergate. Oh shit, a pet that can do both? That would be instantly tier one. Even if his I stats were garbage. Alliance equals has more gets, especially humans and works. I'm an eight year old forsaken edgelord. <laughs> I rolled two. Mm. 
my poor moth team. Looks like there's different breeds for it. These breeds aren't half bad though. They're both HB. You do want to have more health when you're playing a flying type pet. HH brood probably better. Shit, I didn't know they had different breeds. I would have leveled up more if I had known that. I only have one white moth? Gosh dang it, what about the blue moth? I have the better lead. According to all I know about laws of aviation, there's no way a bee should be able to... Oh, it's the bee movie. Oh, Warbot. Okay, I'm making a new team. The war bot. Um, the enchanted broom. Where is the enchanted broom? There he is. Sources. Oh, he is from a vendor. He's from a vendor. Hide that. Sweep and broom. Wind up. I guess I could go for batter and then just use wind up if I'm slower than the pet. And then... A bunny rabbit. Oh, tricorn. I haven't used... No, he's in a team already. Uh, pink guy. The noble garden bunny. Save as vendor 06. Man, this is a good team. Ooh, Crusher is gonna lose. Fox kit. Stout elemental. Warbot's dead. What does his team look like? Low health, full health, Crusher is dead. What about Gobules and Pads? What? What about Pandas? Team trolls, players who smoke weed, orcs, sometimes kids, blood elves to undead, people who listen to metal. What about Pandas? Nobody plays Pandas. I actually am really new to pet battling. I didn't really care when I first came out, so I'm watching your helpful vids. Oh, nice. I should really update a lot of my old videos. Luckily, pet battle endgame stays exactly the same. The other thing that's really changed is they've changed a couple of abilities around, so... A lot of the old videos are still kind of relevant. Except there have been a couple of things that have changed that... Uh, I really need to remake all of my... Tan and Jungle Legendary videos. So I am torn. Actually, there are any new pet battle TV. So I am torn. I am not old. I listen to metal and I smoke weed. So I should be an undead troll moo? Like, what the fuck? Races in WoW work just like races do in real life. They all have stereotypes that piss people off when brought up. I said sometimes the players who play trolls are smokers. Here, I meant a team, not a pet. What about a team? Pandas are cool, dude. I could never play Pandarans. I haven't seen a good Pandaren transmog in five years. Would you ever update the tier 1 to 2 pets? Uh, yeah, I'll do that eventually. I still need to figure out which pets are tier 1 because they have been releasing a lot of good pets recently. <clears throat> like the Sneaky Marmont is a brand new tier 1 pet that came out with the last patch. Evening, evening, my Zbannin. You're not a mod anymore? Uh, you are on my other channel. Here, there you go. I don't really stream on this channel very often, so of course you wouldn't be a mod here yet, my Zbannin. Last time I streamed was probably two years ago on this channel. Here, to compare to Pokemon, how does Warcraft fare into that section? Uh, pet battles are very different. Like, it's turn-based, but it's a lot more simpler with stats 
and you can't one shot someone with a basic attack like you can in Pokemon. So I kind of like that. Plus, there's objects and stuff. There's a lot of things in Pokemon that, I mean, in pet battles that aren't in Pokemon, which make it different enough. I want you inside me. Who's going next? Oh, okay. Damn, I am not a mod. Oh yeah, that was my mistake. My spend in means cuddle banana AFK. I must put a big load. Pandas are my fave. My main is one. Pandas are my favorite as well. Except I like blood elves, undeads, goblins, and taurins more. But pandas are definitely my favorite after those ones. A team with something like booby traps and switching out like rotten little helper and fiendish imp. You see, I'm making a video on all of the best pets currently. I mean the best teams currently. And the team you're mentioning is right here, number six on that list. Warbot, Fiendish Imp, and a cleanup pet. There are five other teams better than it, sadly. Like the Haunt Dodge combo, Sunny Day, Bone Serpent Cleave, a Haunt Blink, Blind Block. The classic clone dance, the Anubisath Idol is after it, Traps is after it, Kovacination is after it, Anti-Meta is after it, and the classic Bleed team. With all of the expensive pets like the Dark Moon Rabbit. Too bad I can't use it though. Alright, let's go back to my vendor pets. You can't howl bomb celestials now. Yeah, you used to professor Pokemon player in tournaments. You used to what? You can't howl bomb celestials now? Wait, I need to check something. Can't help them, Celestials. Uh, that's actually not really a big deal because I don't think you've ever been able to hell bomb them. Or I never use that feature in any of my strategies. What are sponsors? I think next week. Uh, actually, I'll be. On vacation next week next time I do this I'll stream this on my main channel to get it more viewers can I join the group inspect whisper compare achievements I can't invite him make it a raid or something the channel battle pet dungeons the dead mines I'm surprised people like that Oh, I do have Super Chat enabled for this. I don't remember doing that. Looks like I have all of my things covered. I used to be Professor Pokemon. Here is, if you play a human, will you decide to female with bubes? Uh, duh. I think I have half of my tunes right now are female Blood Elves. We'll be doing the final match in a second, but after that, we'll be queuing against each other for whatever fun teams. Probably in 15 minutes. I used to be a professional Pokemon player in tournaments held in Germany and France. Oh wow, so you should be really good at pet battles then. But I quit when the whole new Z-move and Mega Evolutions got introduced. Pet battles are a lot more simpler than Pokemon, but they're also very different. Like, it's different enough that it can be considered its own game. And I really like it, because you can't be one-shot with, you know, 
basic attacks like Earthquake or Ice Beam. Like, there are types of advantages and stuff, but there's not, like, a whole bunch of different types. Everyone has one type, and all moves can only do either strong damage against one type or weak damage against one type. There's no, like, double types or double counters and stuff like that. Which makes it a lot more better, because I always found that kind of stupid in Pokemon, where some Pokemon would just be completely garbage because they have double count, I mean, double weaknesses... So you just wouldn't use those pets, but that's not really a problem. Oh look, a tiny easter egg. But there are a lot of other problems, it's just I like how it's different though. So, Pablo. Oh wait, I should probably... Lenoka. So he's got Son of Seath. What? The Fell Piglet. Holy crap, that's. <laughs> Brian, Enchanted Broom, Ellie, Consuela. Oh, <laughs> The name of the room is kind of racist. Okay, I don't really understand what their strategy is here. Um, macros, rematch. So what is this? The Night Watch Swooper. Night Watch Swooper? Oh, it's a Call Darkness pet. With Cyclone. Oh, it's a Clone Dance team. So he put up Cyclone. Oh, that's a good idea, because Cyclones are in this tournament, so I should probably take cleanup. That's a good idea right there. So he has the Enchanted Broom versus Enchanted Broom. I miss the Evers. I want this rabbit. Where do you live? In what country? I live in the US. I get the feeling with ideas such as AoE teams that alone makes the game different. Yeah, that's what I was, that's usually my go-to example to compare how different pet battles are to Pokemon. Is the fact that AoE teams exist in po pet battles, which you don't see in Pokemon. Uh, funny enough, the Pokemon trading card game has AoE teams. It's just not in the actual game itself. Female classes are played by males. <laughs> that's do tier zero pet pocket cannon that's funny because that's not true there is a panda that alone makes the game different i miss the easter event holy shoot if you come to dark moon fair buy inky black potion it darkens the world around you for two hours or just buy from ah game looks nice with it yeah that would be pretty cool for these pet battles do all at night i should probably go and buy some I don't have any money on this realm though. Hero, you are alive! Yep, I have a rare pet. I get it by Feels in the Darkwind Fair. It's the eye. Cool. You beat him, you can get a box. There is a pet inside. There's a pet inside what? I have a lot of the pets in the game. Ugh. A predatory strike. <sighs> Wait, people can use Pokemon cards for tournaments? Hew, hew, hew. Tournament joke back in the day. <laughs> what? I don't get it. Why aren't you doing this in your server? Because uh, I'm not the one who hosts it. Someone else does. I really hate hosting things. Or organizing or planning any kind of events. It's a pain in the ass to get people together to do that. So, another pet battler named Lenoka does it. So I just come to this server, because that's where he does it. I was wondering why you made a level character again. Now I know. 
Why aren't you doing this on his server? Aye, everyone should get the inky black potion and watch the fireworks tomorrow. Oh, fireworks. I wonder if I'll do anything for that. The dark moon eye is rare. The dark moon eye. Oh, yeah, those two pet tamers in the dark moon fair. I always forget about them because I already have all the pets from them. Is there any dark moon pet that I don't have? Nope, I even have Blorp, who's kind of a pain in the ass to get. You guys should look up how to get Blorp. It's a very, like, weird way to get him. We got Moon Moon, the Sid, the Squid, the Crow, Hogs, Dark Moon Glowflies, Dark Moon Zeppelin, Dark Moon Tonk, Dark Moon Monkey, Dark Moon Eye, the Dark Moon Rabbit. Out of all the Dark Moon pets, Dark Moon Rabbit's probably the best. But I have them all already. Jordan, I bought like two stacks of it. People usually just collect Pokemon cards never to use to play Pokemon. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I think pretty sure that happens for all card games. But I'm pretty sure that's more of a thing in Pokemon, though. Because Pokemon's a lot more popular than the franchises the other games are based on. People usually just collect Pokemon cards and never tease them. 1.6% chance to drop. Is this something like a pet battle roleplay or something? Pet battle roleplay? No, it's a pet battle tournament. I lost in the first round, so I'm just observing everyone else. Because my opponent got super lucky. If you're watching this, Lenoka, you know you only won because you got lucky. You can't even deny that. Blorp festival all over what? Oh, nothing. Blorp is useless. He can't battle. I know. He uses it for collection purposes. Oh, Blorp. He always goes on the ground like an idiot. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, no. You're going to die. No, let him die. It'll be funny. Is the Warbot a vendor pet? Yup. Warbot is a vendor pet. It was originally a promotion pet, but they added it to a vendor. Like, a couple expansions ago. Oh, Devbot Jr. That's the only name that can be used to describe you. So he's got a Fox Kit, that's a good pet, Son of Seath, and Crimson Lasher, that's one I don't really know about. And then over here he has a Sneaky Marmot. Oh, that's so cheap. That's so cheap. Same for Stitches Jr. No, oh, he's a drop. Stitches Jr. I assume he's talking about Weebomination. Because that's the only one that looks like a Stitches Jr. Ooh, Spirit Darter Hatchling. No, Sun Darter Hatchling. How do you get that pet? Oh, I should probably get it, Sun, one of these days. Oh goddamn, Sneaky Marmot, he is so good right now. He SS breed, of course. Blarp is useless, he can't battle. I thought your pet battle master, how'd that happen? Uh, cause he got lucky. You need one dragon, one undead, and one random. Wow, you make a pentagram. Yep, 666. Old school, you talking to me? It's spelled stitches, I believe. Ditched Pup is the only thing that comes up. Stitches Jr. is the name of uh, something you go against. Crimson Lasher, Son of Seath. Or Eater Eater. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Ghostly Skull or Eater Eater. Mm. I have such a fondness 
for the ghastly skull because uh, back in the day when I first leveled up my pets the first three pets I ever leveled up were the singing sunflower uh, the ghostly skull not that one though I, I leveled up a different breed ghostly skull the singing sunflower and the pet bombling pet bombling here he is I don't even have a nickname for him these were the first three pets I ever leveled up to max level and it was a huge pain in the ass uh, because these two pets are not good against random pets out in the wild Undeads are a terrible pet to level up first. They're really good for PvP, it's just not very good for anything else. And Singing Sunflower... I was able to basically just out-heal everything. I didn't know Singing Sunflower was so good back then, though. I just kind of used it because I thought Photosynthesis and Sunlight was a really good combo. And Solar Beam, I remember Solar Beam in Pokemon, and if you had Sunlight on Pokemon, it charged up instantly. And Pet Battles, it just did extra damage, which I thought was awesome. And Pet Bombling, I used him because he had Minefield. And I remember Stealth Rocks in Pokemon was really good, so I thought, hey, Minefield and Pet Battles should be really good. Uh, that's true. Minefield is really good. It's just Pet Bombling isn't one of the better pets that can use it. Especially since this breed is terrible. <laughs> His breed sucks so bad. <laughs> and Ghostly Skull, he was a decent undead pet. It's just undeads weren't very good for leveling up first. These are the first three pets I ever leveled up. And then I did a pet battle. Like the very first PvP pet battle I did at max level, I went against the team with the Curious Wolvar pep. So I leveled him up next, and he was like my fourth pet leveled up. And this was my team for leveling up everything until I got everything maxed out. Fun times back in the day when I was still new to it. What do you get for winning this? Uh, he gives us a pet or something. I don't really do it to win, though. Hazelnut Games has a tutorial for the... Oh, I already know how to get the Sun Darter. I was just kidding about that. Uh, it just wasn't a very good joke. It's just it's a huge pain in the ass to get. Dang, this is lagging. I need the Red Blood Rabbit in the Dark Moon Fair. Dang it. This stupid page always like freezes my computer. Hero, you have spirit of competition from the OL event? No. I think it's super rare. It doesn't even show up anymore because you can't get it. The user fades away, avoiding bone stack. The user then swaps with a random pet. Oh, I should probably get this. That's a pretty good move. But I need the red blood rabbit in the dark mid fair. Here, aren't auctioneers actually vendors? Nope. Here, what's your rare pet? My rarest pet? It's probably all of the TCG pets. It's like Purple Puffer, Ethereal Soul Trailer, Landros XT. These are all my rarest pets. Here you have a spirit of competition, a good pet to spore, and remember that I should level my pets. You should level your pets. Can I enter your pet battle? Yeah, if you can make it to Malorne US. Holy shoot, sneaky marmots are quite expensive on my server. Most of them are still items, so I can't see the breeds. I'd rather level up my rogue and try to get one though. Yeah, that's what I did too. You want the SS breed.
But I mean, even when you farm it up on your rogue, you still have to, you know, get lucky with the breeds. Zone tracker. Sources, world event. Oh, Wolvar pet. I still need to level this guy up. Speedy. I need to get this pet. I need to get this pet too. Undead is good. Can we trade pets? You can trade pets. What are some good pet battle resources? How did you find out where all the good pets to have is? Uh, just watch the videos I make on him, really. Or watch Lenoka's videos. He had a he made a video recently about all of the best pets in the meta. I'll make sure to put links to their channels and my channel page after this is over. Undead is good, and dragons... Dragons aren't good. Sadly, I should say. Sometimes humans. Thank you very much. My first two pets were Chi Lin and Marsh Fiddler. Oh, wait, how the hell do you have that pet if you're not max level? We need a ban list. I'll battle you. I don't know. Uh, one from the tournament. Uh. Oh, you have a 110 rogue? Oh, okay. Let's go. Do I even have one of my tournament teams selected? Nope. Pet battle duel. <laughs> what a silly team. You can use the mounts. The original dev bot. I put out the pink guy to throw you off. Why would I open up with a war bot? There we go. Guaranteed minefield. And some missiles while he tries to clear it. I ain't sweeping shit out. I'm gonna attack you because I have a good matchup against you. Yeah, of course I have extra plating because extra plating is better than the other one. Well, someone recently bought the Ignis Flame for 65k. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty easy to get. Alright, pink guy. We got this shit. And time for the Warbot to come back out. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe he crit. <laughs> oh no, don't get a stun. I don't want this to be GG. Oh no. Oh my god, he just went for him again. Well, I'm gonna go for damage, because I'll die in the backfield. <laughs> Dang it. I can't believe you just switched out so fast. That's really good play. God damn it. I didn't think he would just switch out so quickly. 
I didn't think he was attack. I thought for sure he was going to try to switch out on me, so I was trying to get some damage on him because I am in a very bad position right now. My German accent. Can I enter? I am German. Now nah, you need a US account. That's right. Die, you stupid broom. Taking out my war bot without being able to do anything. That was bullcrap. Let's go, Enchanted Broom. We got this shit. Let's go, Decoy Slayer. I don't actually have my decoy slaying abilities right now, but I do have a strong mechanical ability against stupid Brian. Oh shit, yeah, I'm gonna sweep you out for sure. Oh. He totally juked that shit. Well, that's not good. Let's go, Noble Garden Bunny. And he went straight for Touch of Animus. Pink guy is gonna wreck you. Chanted Broom is faster than your team. So he needed. So you need a US account to come? Yeah, I think my pets are going on a US server. Yep. You have to start over on a US server, which sucks. Because I know there's a lot of people who play uh, this way. Brian. Hmm, is that enough? That might be enough to kill him without taking damage. Come on, hit on a medium end. Yes, he hit high. Oh, <laughs> oh pink guy. Man, rapids are so good. Oh, pink guy, you're so good. I need to dodge his drain blood. I should just be able to kill him though. <laughs> Game over. Oh man, luckily the bunny was good enough to take out his whole team. No, the broom did some matches too. Man, that bunny was too good against your team. I was worried there when he took out the warbot. <laughs> Oh, the war bot. Mm. Yeah, the rabbit. Hmm. You want me to use my war bot team again? Um. Hmm. Dang, if you play that team, I'm screwed with this team. Warbot, vendor. Alright, let's go. Pet battle duel. All right, fledgling owl. Let's go, Alarmabot. Fuck, I want this rabbit. Is that a poppy reference? The little one, I pass the event. Where did you get that rabbit? The rabbit, I got it from the Noble Garden event. It's moveset I use exactly as a normal rabbit you can catch out in the world, so. Uh, I just used it because it's part of the theme for this tournament. Oh, I'm faster than you, Devbot Jr. You piece of garbage. Alarmabot's gonna wreck your face. And let's go try corn. Oh, is it? <laughs> It's that's pretty similar. I didn't even notice that. Tricorn. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the owl though. 
Let's go, Tricorn. Throw up a poison fang and wreck his stupid face. Why would I remove my own decoy? Oh, so you don't kill me with it. That's a good idea. Tricorn! No, Tricorn, don't die! I love you, Tricorn. I can kill Devbot, though. Come on, hit on the low end! Ah, oh, dang it, Tricorn. Uh, let's go Fledgling Owl and just take him out. And then use the Nocturnal Strike Darkness combo is Rabbit. You collect the eggs. I think I just bought it off the auction house. It was too many eggs. Alright, all fiction. He's gonna wreck me with his Spectral Strike. But that's fine. I don't expect him to really even do much. Ho oh, ho! Oh, dang. <laughs> well, he probably doesn't even have Spectral Strike because that's a stupid thing to run on uh, Ghostly Skull without some way to actually use it. Oh, Unholy Ascension. Well, I don't want to take any more damage. I still have my racial. Yeah, I still have my racial just barely. Let's throw up Decoy. Just in case he's gonna start off with Blinding Powder, which would be neat. Oh, that chomp hurt really hard. Come on. Stupid decoy. Alert. Oh, he's too fast for me, so I can't even bother with interrupting jokes. Alert actually hits harder. Alarm robot, take all of his hits for me. Luckily, you have the overpowered alert. Oh, alert is bugged. <laughs> nice, I didn't know alert was bugged. <laughs> oh, that's nice to know. I only have 155 pets. Oh, that's nothing. You can get any good pets on the auction house. Yeah, you can get tons of good pets on the auction house. No problem. Don't kill me. Oh man, Alarmabot. Good counter to Sneaky Marmot. As soon as you can get him next year, though. I only have 100 pets. You can get many good pets on next. Wow, Alarmabot is a. Yeah. That makes Alarmabot like a tier 1 pet right there. He doesn't even need a speed increaser. That would make him a lot better, though. Yeah, because Interrupting Jolt does rely on speed, but his speed is decent against normal pets. And Alert hits harder than a normal basic attack. So, it, like... Yeah, it hits at 260, but it alerts hits at 277, which is only three less than a 260 basic attack. So it's technically overpowered. Well, I mean, so many pets are, so that's not really a big deal. <laughs> that's alarm about it. He might be tier one. The thing is, decoy is still really strong, and the reason the MPD was tier one for so long was because. He was the fastest decoy user. And there was only like one other pet that could use decoy back then. <laughs> yeah, Sneaky Marmot's tier one. Because that blinding power is OP. So it's nice to know that Alarmabot can counter him now. Mmm, probably not. It's...
Sneaky Marmot. Some of them just cost a lot. I mean, 170 pets, 563 in total here. I have 336 total, but most of them are quite good in max level. My team is Celestial Dragon, Spirit Darter, Hatchery, and Blighthawk. That's a pretty random team. I have 789 pets. Get on my level. 789 unique pets, I should say. Ooh, I didn't know this was a tab. So, total pets collected. Least amount dragon type pets. Most amount beast type. That's surprising. I thought it would be critters. Dang, there's a lot of flying type pets. I think those are all just moths, though. <laughs> there are so many different types of moths. Pets collected unique. Pets at max level. Dang, 900. I mean, almost 500 pets at max level. That's pretty crazy. Rare quality pets. Duplicate collected pets, 333. Average pet level, 16. Pets not collected. I have 112 pets I still need to collect. Sources from pet battles. That makes sense. Unique pets. Pets not collected. Parent. Max level. There we go. Some of them are quite good in max level. I got to go see you. The Bombling? Glory of the Tomb Raider. What? Pet Bombling's not good. Cyberstein, Lich Kitty with his blinding powder and chomp and burrow and dust bunny. I like using dust bunny too. I think my favorite rabbit to use though was pink guy. Even though Dark Moon Rabbit is exactly the same, so is the dust bunny. So you basically have different skins to use for bunnies since they all have like the same moveset and stats. Which is nice. My team is... I got to go. And Little Bad Wolf, 770. What about 770? You have 770 unique pets? Oh, that means I barely have more than you. Oh, dang. I need to go out and collect more pets. I'm a slacking. Five. Uh, how long have I been streaming for? About two hours? I should probably head out now. Well, I have some pet stones just in case. Alright. I think I'm going to head out now. Actually, I actually have quite a bit to do today. Oh, Alright, and I'll see you guys. Are you guys doing it next week? World events or Dark Moon Fair? I'm not sure if I'll be around next week, though. Okay. Well, I'll show up if I'm around. See ya. Time to go and end the stream.